Syracuse is one of only seven cities in America to land a $50 million federal grant to help local neighborhoods. The city's 15th ward is known as one of the poorest zip codes in the nation. The money will go towards revitalization, renovation, and bringing life back to that blighted neighborhood. The other cities across the country are Chattanooga, Tennessee, Houston, Texas, Huntsville, Alabama, Las Vegas, Nevada, and Trenton, New Jersey. Each city had to apply and show how they would use the funding to reimagine a neighborhood through housing, community services, and workforce development. In Syracuse, 15th Ward is the target. CBS 5's Mary Keeler is live at Wilson Park in Syracuse with more information. Mary? Yeah, and Connor, good evening. We are live in the heart of the 15th Ward, the East Adams neighborhood, as it's commonly referred to, where the $50 million investment will go toward at least 1,400 new housing units here. And we asked the man in charge of doling out this investment locally to groups like the Syracuse Housing Authority on down and asked him how it will be spent and why this investment is such a big deal. A landmark moment last week as federal, state and local leaders gathered at Wilson Park to celebrate a $50 million grant to redevelop Syracuse's 15th Ward. The U.S. Department of Housing and Urban Development's Choice Neighborhoods Implementation Grant is for the reimagination of McKinney Manor and Pioneer Homes. We've had these super blocks that weren't connected, but now because of the I-81 project and because of this grant, we're going to be able to rebuild this public housing in beautiful fashion garden style apartments, townhouses, mid-rise buildings. The I-81 viaduct is set to come down as the transformative community grid project takes shape. The grant will help fund plans for 1,400 new housing unit buildings meant for mixed income residents and will be overseen by the Syracuse Housing Authority. The first two phases are underway with 135 housing units in progress. The I-team spoke one-on-one -on -one with Richard Minocchio of HUD. Who locally are you giving, you know, the, the pot of money to, to oversee and how will that trickle out into different phases? The partners that are involved with the Syracuse Housing Authority are going to see some of these funds and they're going to invest in the people who live here. The Children Rising Center pictured here in this rendering will be a daycare, early learning center and YMCA in the new East Adams neighborhood. And this is about the next generation making sure that they have it better than they have it better. 50 million is a lot of money. HUD has six other recipient cities besides Syracuse to monitor when it comes to spending it. HUD DC and the field office stays involved through every step of the progress to make sure the housing is built on time and on budget, to make sure the services that were promised are delivered, and to make sure the other community investments happen. I have full confidence in, uh, in the director here and the team to make this a national model. That HUD representative also telling me he's been to dozens of other cities across the U.S. that he's visited that have received this grant exactly before. And he says it's nothing short of amazing, the transformation. He says he knows Syracuse is capable, like he just said, of being a national model for just how far that can go. Live in Syracuse tonight, I'm Mary Keeler. Between the money and I-81, a lot of change coming to that neighborhood. Mary, thank you.